Knowing where your vehicle is made is an important consideration for American auto consumers. Many would say that they'd pay more for a vehicle knowing that it was built in the United States and helped support the U.S. economy. It's doubly important for EVs because where the vehicle is made and where materials are sourced can have a direct impact on how much a consumer will pay for the car thanks to the available EV tax credit. According to research by Cars.com, 56% of in-market car shoppers are willing to pay more for a new car if the car helps create more U.S. jobs. Of those respondents, 58% said they'd pay up to 10% more. With the price of new cars these days, 10% is a significant amount, so clearly it's important to many of you. So how do you know where the car you're looking for is made? How American-made is that new EV you're eyeing up? Here's how you can find out. The first thing you can do is, if you have access to the car's vehicle identification number, is to look at the first character. The VIN is the car's serial number and can tell you a great deal of information about the vehicle, including where it was built, the number off the production line, what type of transmission it has, and more. If the first character is a number 1, a number 4, or a number 5, it's reasonably safe to assume that it was assembled in the United States. There are some interesting exclusions to this, however. For example, the Mercedes-Benz eSprinter, which is assembled in Charleston, South Carolina, has a VIN code of W, which indicates Germany. The 11th number of the VIN is the plant that actually assembled the car. A VIN decoder tool is fun, and you should look up your VIN regularly to ensure you don't have any outstanding warranty issues that you need taken care of. But, to really learn about the parts content and assembly of your vehicle, you'll need to look at the window sticker. The window sticker, also named the Monroney sticker after the U.S. Senator who sponsored the Automobile Information Disclosure Act of 1958, which mandated automakers to disclose information about the car through what we now know as the window sticker. In addition to listing the price of the car with the delivery charge and all standard and optionally added equipment, the sticker will also have a fuel economy label showing MPG or MPGE, if applicable, electric driving range, if applicable, and give it a greenhouse gas and smog rating. Additionally, it'll anticipate how much you'll pay per year in electric or gasoline cost and highlight how much more you'll spend or save over five years compared to the average new vehicle. But most importantly for this video is the parts content information label. It'll list the percentage of parts sources from the United States and Canada. It'll also list the major sources of foreign parts content. It will also name the final assembly point for the vehicle and then break down the country of origin for both the engine and transmission. Notably missing from this sticker, and something we expect to see added in the future, is the country of origin for the battery. That does matter for the EV tax credit and something that the government is tracking for credit eligibility. For this example, we've been using the window sticker from a Hyundai Ioniq 6 that we recently reviewed, which is assembled in Asan, Korea, and is ineligible for tax credits. Unless, of course, you lease. If your Monroney sticker doesn't have a parts content breakdown, there is another way to see how American-made your EV is. Every year, Cars.com puts out its American-made index report. There are some caveats. The sales volume must reach a certain amount to be considered, but the 2024 list contains every Tesla model, except for the Cybertruck, which does not yet have enough sales volume, and the Model Y, S, and X are in the top 10. Additionally, Volkswagen's ID4 is now in the top 10, now that it has assembly in the United States. To view the entire AMI list, click the link in the description box below. Tesla fans will likely cry foul at Cybertruck for not being included. The Cybertruck Monroney sticker lists 65% of Cybertruck parts coming from the United States and Canada, with 25% coming from Mexico. And assuming the Cybertrucks that are sitting around are just waiting for delivery and not sitting unsold, it'll likely be on the list next year when it has a more appreciable sales volume. Breaking down some more information about U.S.-made cars, there are 5.4 million plus jobs that are attributed to the American automotive industry. It's not just people working for OEMs, but for suppliers, repair shops, auto parts stores, and more. Earlier, when we said 56% of in-market buyers would pay more for an American-made vehicle, you'd think that there'd be a difference between the generations. The reality is there isn't much, but the generations most willing to pay more aren't what you think. According to Cars.com polling from April, 65% of people who said they'd pay more were Millennials, 68% were Gen Z, 52% were Gen X, and 58% were Boomers. How important is an American-made car to you? How much more would you pay for an American-made car that supports the U.S. economy and keeps people employed? Let us know in the comments below. 
Also, be sure to check out Craig's first look at the BYD Seagull. This is not an American-made EV, and is subject of controversy surrounding that fact. It's a Chinese EV subject to a 102.5% tariff. Get the lowdown by clicking the link on the screen right now.